The Palm Springs Fire Department is feeling the heat as firefighters wrap up real life fire training at a home in North Calle Santa Rosa near Alejo. News Channel 3 Shelby Nelson takes us inside the smoky simulation. This is as real life gets. It's real actual fire. That'll hurt you and burn you. With this scenario, this home, we're training with kitchen fires, garage fires, bedroom fires, bathroom fires. We're making as many different possible scenarios that we can with one home. And nothing in this training is out of bounds for what firefighters can expect in a real life situation. As you can see behind me, black smoke coming from the ceiling of that home as the fire burns inside. This is number four of six simulations going on today as fire crews try to put these fires out. The home donated by Agua Caliente Band of Cahuilla Indians, now providing something Palm Springs Fire Captain Nathan Gunkel believes is invaluable to the department. It makes us more prepared for when we do have a real rescue. The project requiring several layers of drywall and metal sheets so that the home could withstand multiple fires. Inside, flames engulfing the ceilings creating layers of smoke that add to an assortment of dangers crews must be ready for. The smoke essentially is unburned fuel. All that smoke is pretty much parts of the fire that have not gone through the combustion process yet. You can see where the temperatures were 200 degrees on the bottom, on the floor, compared to 1100, 1300 degrees above the fire. Just seconds after lighting a fire inside the house, this thermal imaging camera skyrockets to more than 900 degrees. Despite the hazardous conditions, being able to gauge a fire's behavior is key. Fire wants oxygen. When we go interior, just like you saw, we all crawled in to fight the fire. We shut the door behind us. And that's so the fire doesn't come directly at us. Cutting a hole into the roof enables that smoke to escape, improving visibility, and ultimately making it possible to locate potential victims. And in those moments, every second counts. We're scanning every room. We're scanning in closets for little kids. Shelby Nelson, News Channel 3. And today was the last day of the training. Meanwhile, fire officials say always have a plan for your family. Also, make sure to check that your smoke detector batteries are working.